Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel Ivylicious. And it's been a while that I posted a video na I am sitting down and I'm talking about something. And today I am so bored, bored talaga. Yes, I am a little bit bored. David is not here. He's in the gym working out and Hayden is still sleeping. And yesterday, guys, I uploaded a video about our new apartment in Tagbalaran City in the Philippines. And we are so lucky and we are blessed because we have another second apartment na under construction in the Philippines. So, yeah, I'm, I am happy. Yes, and I am excited because by the time na we will go back to the Philippines, it will be all finished and ready to be rented out and yeah so our our plan in our plan is um to stay in the philippines for good and as of now we are starting to invest we're starting to uh like we are building an apartment para naman mayroon kaming mayroon kaming income like that steady steady in income aside sa mga iba pang mga ano natatanggap natin no para para na din sa future si David kasi guys he i really like him because he's very futuristic he is uh, looking sa future he's futuristic talaga siya and gusto niya na it's very ah uh, yeah na it's ah uh, my goodness it's na in a uh, sa mani ay may emotional ka tumut kay sa uh, one day we were talking about we were talking about you know sa future and he told me that that um he will not live forever and he just he wanted us me and Hayden to have a good life and that's why he's doing these things for us oh my god yeah and then every time he will talk like that i don't i don't want to hear it because i am so emotional madali lang akong umiyak na okay go kayo no yes i'm very emotional then then he is nga na na sila guys uh, ganyan sila mga foreigner they're futuristic and of course that is a fact that is a that is reality that uh, no one nobody will live forever and given sa situation namin that we have a big age gap and that's what he's been telling me that he's not gonna live forever and he just wanted to he just wanted na magkaroon kami ng magandang buhay ni Hayden. So, ayan. So, our plan is to live permanently in the Philippines for good. Maybe after 3 to 4 years. Our plan is if I can receive my permanent... Uh, I um, Pagbalik namin dito sa US, guys, is I... Uh, applied for the removal of condition in my green card because I was under CR1 only two years yung validity ng visa ko so that is why last June 4 I submitted my um, application to remove the condition para they will grant me the 10 years 10 years green card so after that after that pwede nang after 3 years kasi pwede ka nang mag-apply for citizenship and na no ma maibigay na yung 10 years green card ko and after that um the next thing we're gonna do is i'm going to apply for a citizenship so i can have a u.s passport then we don't have any problem anymore if we will go back to the philippines and we will stay there for how many years and if if um there is a need for us to come back here in the u.s so no problem kasi I'm, I'm gonna have my u.s passport so that is our plan yan yung plan namin ni david yeah so uh we will stay in the philippines for good so far so far say david okay naman niya na doon na kami titira sa pilipinas for good kasi no mag start na siyang mag um na kanang kumain ulit ng meat so there's no problem hindi na masyadong uh, uh, 
problema yung sa pagkain niya kasi kumakain na siya ng meat and before kasi that's one of our problem kasi limitado lang yung pagkain na nakakain niya doon sa Pilipinas so uh, yung mga na, na kasanayan na niya nakainin na mga pagkain is wala doon sa Pilipinas but for now he's back on eating meat again so no worries about that so hayan so we will be moving to the Philippines for good, hopefully three to four years from now. And we are going to sell our house first here in the U.S. Then hopefully, yeah, that's our plan as of now. And yeah, I am very excited and I am very happy that um, everything goes well yeah so hayden is doing good i last uh, the other day we went to his doctor for his um appointment and he had his vaccine na ano si hayden na bakunahan and jikan yes and everything is fine and now Listen pa, even if there is a COVID-19, kailangan na patuloy pa rin tayo sa ating buhay, no? We need to keep moving. Yes, we need to keep moving sa kabila ng pandemic na natin, natin this year. Laina ning dili na ta magsige istorya. Uy, kay mat ang kuan bitaw no in istoryahan kay mabulol na. Oh my goodness, I can really tell the difference between now and before kasi before I am um, used to keep talking every day kasi when I was still teaching, I was uh, sige ko istorya, istorya, istorya and then now I can tell na there is a difference. That is why na I, this is also one of the motiv of my motivation doing a YouTube channel because I want to talk. I want to talk because I am used to it. I mean, it is different. Iba kasi yung nag-uusap kami ni David. Iba yun. And iba din yung ako, ako nag, ano, mag sasalita sa harap ng kamera at least. Um... Uh, hindi mawawala sa akin yung nakasanayan ko na, na uh, yung confidence to confidence self confident to talk in front of people in front of the camera so by the way going back guys going back sa aming apartment na pinatayo doon sa Pilipinas so how we manage to build um, apartment na wala kami doon sa Pilipinas so in reality, it is quite difficult because we are not there really. We're not there personal in person. Na makita namin ko ano na, but um, I have I have families in the Philippines. I have my brother that I can I can ask to do something for me, especially if. Um, may Roma kinakailangan na dapat gawin, mayroon silang kailangan. So, um, yung brother ko ang inutusan ko na gawin 'yon. Mahirap at kailangan talaga na mayroong communication between sa aming builder at sa amin. Si David, yung pinaka ang pinaka gusto niya is yung duration of time na yung duration of time na matatapos kapag sinasabi nila na yan yung span of time na ma, ma finished yung project he expected it to be finished kung meron mang hindi matatapos ay hindi it should be not equal to the same to the same long sa man span of time na nasa kontrata so yan yung pinaka yan yung pinaka ano ni David, he is very particular to that hindi niya gusto yung yung ano, put off yung bang, oh saka na, saka na later, 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 no he don't like that, so I am trying, I am trying my best to communicate to those um, builder na gawin ito, ganyan so, we really need uh, communication between them Kasi it's hard for us also because especially we're investing a very, we're investing big money. 
in that project and we want it done as soon as possible as soon as possible talaga kasi ayaw namin na ma-waste yung money namin ay hindi ma-waste but um, yun bang hindi matatapos sa given duration of time na dapat matapos so ayan so yan yung mga mga problema na aming naranasan sa ano pag-build ng mga houses before kasi guys nung mag-build kami sa aming very first house in the Philippines yun yung first house namin after ng aming kasal so i did not hire a builder back then and I was so stressed also because I was really hands-on to that house. I mean, I am the one buying all the materials sa pagpagagawa ng bahay namin. So, that was really stressful and David was not here that time. I mean, I'm talking about in the, when we were still in the Philippines. He was not there. He was in the U.S. And I find it hard. So, that's why na yung... Ang reason talaga kung bakit nagpatayo kami ng ibang bahay, we did not uh, plan to rent it out. We planned to build a house for us to live there and to live there para closer, close to the city. But it turned out na pinarintahan namin kasi uh, mayroong mga ibang ano dahilan kung bakit. So, hayan balik tayo. So, ako lang yung nagbili ng mga materyales, hindi kami nag-hire ng builder. So, next time na nag-build kami, nag-hire na kami ng builder para less stress sa amin. So, but then, we were not there in the Philippines that time. We were here in the US because my visa was already granted. And we were not there. So, yes, we encountered a lot of problems, but but when we go back sa aming bakasyon um, thankfully na settle ang lahat na okay na naman na okay ang mga ang mga concern namin but it was hard really it was really hard it was stressful and bago pa kung panganak noon it was it was really really stressful for me so hayan So yon, so pagbalik namin, <laughs> nagpagawa na naman kami ng bahay. This time, nasa city na talaga and we make sure na we are there during the construction of the house. Because ipa kasi guys, kapag mga foreigner, gusto talaga nila kung anong gusto nila, yan talaga. Especially um like para <laughs> parihan ni David, he's very particular sa sa length ng aming ano ng sink sa kitchen sa link kasi he, kasi sa standard kasi sa mga Filipino houses sa atin is hindi masyadong mataas yung counter sa kusina so of course David is tall mataas siya matangkad so gusto niya na medyo mataas-taas din but not to the point na hindi na ako makaabot sa sa sink sa kusina So, hayan. So, mga, mga small details that he wanted na kailangan talagang masunod kung ano ang gusto niya. Ganyan sila. Ganyan sila mga, mga ibang lahi, mga foreigner. They're, they want a work nga kana na ang masunod kung sa ang ilang gusto ipabuhat. Of course, they pay for it. So, they need to follow kung unsay gusto nila, no? para mat ma malipay ilang client. So ganyan. Ayan, so again communication is very important. Then yes, well that is the break. That is the break if you if you build a house, if you build an, something na wala ka, but you really need to trust. You just need to trust the person na inasahan mo na na gagawa ng trabaho, na gawin din nila yung part nila. Yes. So ayan And hopefully, guys, it will. Uh, hopefully, everything will be will be fine. And then, yeah. So that is our that is our plan. We are just starting. We are just starting to, you know, aming mga plano para kung do na kami magstay sa Philippines. At least there's a there is um there's an income. I know that it is not. Um, dili-dali nga mabawi ang among gasto because it is expensive. Talking about talking about the 
uh, cost of building it is not cheap yes yan yung masisiguro ko it's not cheap and of course the price of land in Tagbilaran city in the philippines Bohol, it's not cheap so far ang price by now is 6,000 per square meter yung nasa center talaga sa city at yung along the road they uh, the price right now is like seven to nine thousand even even ten thousand pag along the road along the highway but kung kung high highway tapos mayroong barangay road na musud pa so around six thousand so yan around six thousand yung price sa uh, land so it's not cheap but in yan yung update natin nag follow um i'm just i just want to i just want to talk today <laughs> Kaistorya ho, dyan ko karungan lawa bito. Kay gila ay ko. Grabe kay. Tanawar ko na mo silingan din ha. Wala dyan mo'y tao as in. Wala'y tao. Kay, of course, they are in there. Sa ilang trabaho. And then, naapot sila mga bata. At tupod ipang bilin. Asa na pita, ibilin. So, kamera. Si Hayden is sleeping. And David is in the gym. And then, ako. Unya, manto ko sa gym. And then, yeah, it's very quiet. You can never hear a rooster here. Nga mo tuk tuk That is the only mo nang maninga ng mga foreigner nga mudo sa Pilipinas kay na azutay even if sa city ta nagpuyo even if we live in the city we can still hear the rooster at dawn even in the morning. Di dire grabe ka hilom. Yan guys, hilom kayo. So so far guys, that's our update for today then please um subscribe to my youtube channel and see you next time for my next video bye bye and have a good day everyone